we are easier to spin because we don't have tools to show what we know and share it and improve it because we're drowning in the info torrent which is being polluted on purpose. And what you've just described, which I agree with 100%, would be bad enough if there weren't a whole bunch of people in the world who've discovered that you can undermine facts, undermine trust in civilization, and destroy things and win elections by screwing up the information space and flooding us with disinformation, malinformation, and worse. There's a, a nice documentary called Hypernormalization by a British a BBC documentarian named Adam Curtis. He's done a bunch of good documentaries. I really like Hypernormalization because his thesis is we are already in a nonlinear war. We just don't realize it. Nonlinear war, basically, information is cheaper than guns and bombs. In the last 10 years, there's been a gigantic shift to the far right worldwide. It's not just Trump, it's Bolsonaro, Duterte in Poland, you know, uh, two brothers, one of whom was like liberal and awesome, dies in a, in a plane wreck, uh, along with most of his government, and guess who shows up? And Poland is, is, is now an illiberal democracy. So liberal democracy is the thing we think we're in. The illiberal democracy looks and smells like a democracy. There's a court system, there's a media, there's, you know, whatever. But guess what? They've all been corrupted. So the media has been squished and suppressed and all, anybody who was actually writing good news stories was kicked out of the country or their presses were destroyed or whatever. And that, that's happening now in lots of countries. Hmm. Um, uh, Turkey, for, Turkey, for example, just uh, is destroying the last free index.hu, I think. No, maybe it's Hungary. One of those countries that's sort of really under pressure right now is exactly doing that right now so that they'll still have elections but it's not actually a functioning democracy and that's where we're going because we are easier to spin because we don't have tools to show what we know and share it and improve it because we're drowning in the info torrent which is being polluted on purpose thanks for listening to the adrian sinclair show you can find previous episodes on the a podcast multi-channel network at apodcast.com. You can also stream this podcast on Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, Podbean, and other audio platforms. And if you subscribe to our weekly newsletter, you'll get convenient short summaries of podcasts you may have missed. So check it out. And lastly, please, please, please support us by sharing our episodes on social media. We really appreciate it. Thanks.